Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're opening things a little differently. Uh, this was actually given to me by a friend and I don't have the packaging for it. So we're going to open this up and uh, check it out just normal. Uh, but today we're talking about the Limitless Classic 220 Watt Mod. Uh, this is Limitless's... That's hard to say. <laughs> this is Limitless's... Uh, normal mod that they're going for uh it's very boxy and very uh kind of uncomfortable in the hand but uh, i want to compare it to like here is the drag as you can see it's much much wider but here is the mod They've got the resin on both sides, and these are actually both plates that you can change out to have different designs. They come in a lot of different colors, different designs. I'll post some of them up on the screen right now. But yeah, there is the Limitless Mod Company. Serial number, the Limitless logo right there little bit of information uh, this mirrored screen uh, I'm not too crazy about it like the rest of it this uh, stain brushed nickel or stainless steel right here I really like it doesn't attract a lot of fingerprints but the the mirrored screen it's nice whenever it's on but uh, it's it's a fingerprint magnet for sure uh, there is your stainless steel 510 connection Springy, not as much as a newer mod. This is uh, kind of an older mod now, but still beautiful. Thought it was worth uh, putting out there. Now, this is a dual 18650 mod. You can see right there the negative and positive and positive and negative. These are ran in series, uh, gold plated. Now, if you look up here, these are not spring loaded. These, if you can see that, if you can see that right there, that kind of gives. So you could say that it's spring loaded, but not really. But the positive and negative, you can see pretty well down in there. I wish that it was a different color. Uh, plain black ribbon put in two 18650s, ran in series. So we'll turn this on, it's five clicks. You'll get the LMC, and then it comes right up to wattages. Now this does have a unique chipset inside of it, and to be honest, I'm not exactly sure if I'm a fan of the chip. Uh, I'm, I'm used to a few different other mods that don't have a chip that, that runs like this. Now, like I said, this is an older mod, but it doesn't run like the typical uh, mods that are out on the market today. But you, you can see, I like, you see that, the blue? I love the blue coloring. I, I'm not a fan of this mirror right here. Uh, but this will do voltage and wattage. Uh, nickel titanium stainless steel has three memory settings as you see right there uh, 65 watts that right there that bar on the bottom that is your batteries there's resistance you can see right there it is 65 watts I'm on memory setting one stainless steel um, it is at 9.99 resistance. That's because I don't have an atomizer on here. And voltage, that line at the bottom, is actually your batteries. But has good clickiness on the buttons. They feel very nice. Power and fire button here, up and down there. So... Um, something that I'm not a big fan of on this mod, um, so it's one, two, three, locks the device. The majority of newer devices, 
Um, one, two, three gets you into the, the menu settings. This one, not so much. Um, you cannot fire it or raise anything or lower it while the device is locked. So, one, two, three, unlocks the device. Now, to actually get into your settings is almost like you're going to power it off. One, two, three, four, five, and then it says power off. To actually power it off, you have to hit the up button while it says power off. You don't hit this as like an enter button. So one, two, three, four, five, goes to power off, hit that mode power, auto adjust power off, and then your wattages that you have, you can rotate the screen by hitting the up button and then exit menu. So everything is done between the up button and the actual power button here but the power button is not enter which is normally how a regular mod in today's age would be so one two three four five power off you hit the up button and it goes off but one two three four five mode power you've got mode temp so let's go to mode temp temperature titanium stainless steel and nickel Then you have your units in Fahrenheit, the Fahrenheit that you're wanting, and then back to rotation, exit menu. So as you can see, it is a little confusing uh, working around the menu. Um, you hit up, it's going to change through your memory settings right there. So I have M1, M2, and M3. Those are for three different tanks that I use normally. Uh, you hit down, and that's going to actually change the wattages that you're wanting. So down right here. So this is going to be soft, powerful, and then your standard. That is the preheat. I'm actually going to be using this Freemax Fire Luke mesh tank on here. I like the the blue with the blue. I think it looks very good. Uh, but I, I do like having the, the memory set already. Um, this isn't a smart chip. It doesn't put, you know, what you would like or what it thinks you should have it on. Uh, but it works good. Well, guys, that is this mod. Let's take this up top and vape it. Welcome back, guys. So we are talking about the Limitless Classic 220 mod. Um, I have... A few pros with this and a few cons honestly more cons than I do pros but let's jump into it okay so with this I want to go over the pros first uh, it is a beautiful mod I love the colors I love the classic 220 there the limitless logo the stainless steel it's not a fingerprint magnet at all um, it does do higher wattages and it does do them at a very decent uh, battery life. I, I really like the battery life on this. One thing I do not like about this, this, this is a con for me, is how thick it is and how sharp these edges, I wouldn't say that they're sharp, but they are made of metal and uh, it, it's uncomfortable in the hand. I have not found a way to hold this to where it, it is comfortable in the hand. Uh, they do have the dog ears here and here, but it just it, it doesn't line up. Like if you look at the the Vupu drag, you can see uh, they're they're opposite the dog ears. That makes this it's the same style, but it is more comfortable with those dog ears being on that side than on the opposite. Uh, I like that you can change these out for different designs and stuff. That's a pro for me. The magnetic battery back, huge fan of that, major plus. Uh, but cons, this thing is not ergonomical at all. It's not comfortable in the hand. The mirrored screen, not a fan of. Uh, love the blue, the blue numbers, huge fan of that, favorite color. Um, who is this mod for? I would say that this mod is for someone that's just looking to get into vaping. Uh, I would say that this is for a person that is looking to get away from, say, a pen-style vape 
and go into more of a mod. Uh, you can get these extremely cheap right now. I'll have a link below at a few places that I know still carry them. Uh, yeah, guys, this is a, it's a cheap mod now. Um, it's just uncomfortable. Uh, it's not comfortable in the hand. It looks great. It, it vapes perfectly fine. Um, the interface, I don't really like. I love the color of the chip. I do not like um, how you get around inside. It, if you're going from any other vape mod that you're used to, to this one, it, it's very different. The normal um, thing for a mod now is to click it three times and it goes into the menu system. This locks on three. Uh, so I, I don't like the chip that's that's in this. It I feel like I'm just ragging on it. Um, to summarize everything up, it's a beautiful mod. I love that it's not a fingerprint magnet other than the screen. I love the colors. I love that you can change these out, the customization. I love it, but it does not feel good in the hand. Um, it's difficult to, to maneuver around through the settings and the menu board, um, but it has good battery life and it does convert energy very well to your coils. So you have to, it's give and take. You have to take that with a grain of salt. Now, <clears throat> Even with this being a completely metal body other than these resin doors on the side, I haven't had any problem out of this thing warming up. This mod doesn't really heat up at all. Uh, your tank, well, with this tank, should I say. I only vape this with this tank. Uh, this is the Freemax Fire Loop Mesh tank. Uh, I haven't had any trouble out of it heating up. But uh, w would I recommend this mod? Yes and no. Um, I would not recommend this mod to someone that is in vaping and you're, you, you know, you have things like this. This is way more uh, ergonomical. This is way more ergonomical. Um, I, I would say that if you're in it and you have a mod already, I would not push you in the direction of this. If you're getting away from the pen style vapes and you're wanting to get a mod, I would push you in the direction of this for the price point. And the customization that's really important to a lot of people but yeah guys that is the limitless 220 classic uh, that's my thoughts on it uh, I feel like I didn't say a lot of good things about this mod but we'll be back in a few days with another one that might be a little better it might be a little worse who knows hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video at any time, give it a big thumbs up. Think about subscribing and sticking around. Or checking out my other channel. It's just Tanner Watson. It's going to pop up somewhere around here. And you can think about subscribing to that channel where you'll find camera tutorials and daily vlogs and stuff like that. But thanks for coming along, guys. And I'll see you next time with another video. Shh.